Hey guys, I am back with another soft-spoken reading, so I've been really enjoying using my mic. It The sound is just so much better, and I hope that you enjoy this video. Um, and yeah, let's get started. So the theme for today will be what you need to hear right now. And it will be a timeless collective reading. So I've got this deck here that just came in the mail. So I haven't seen the cards yet. what it is um, with the birds there it kind of reminds me of communication and the yellow kind of reminds me of Leo and the Sun and the solar plexus chakra so you could be tapping into your creativity at this time if you have creative blocks, you're being asked to be patient and gentle with yourself and to take in new ideas, take in suggestions from people. There are two birds here, you know. And you're being asked to take a leap of faith because the way I see it, it's like the bird is almost ready to fly while well, those perch on the branch and that's the number 13 on the card what do you need to know thirty-eight release expectations two birds again they look like lovebirds, so if you're in a relationship and you're used to things being done a certain way, perhaps it's a time for things to change, especially if this is a long-term relationship. It's a give and take, right? And different people have different ways of giving and receiving. So I think it's important to communicate this. For me, in the past, I have been afraid of stating my needs in a relationship. But recently, I've been pretty upfront with my love language. So if you haven't heard of the love languages, you might want to check it out. Let's get one more from this deck. What do you need to know? I'm still a little um, under the weather, so I'll try not to cough into the microphone. Okay, 10. Easy does it. Sloth energy. So, perhaps you need to take a break and take you know a chill pill let me drink some of my tea i think i just gulped into the mic 10 reminds me of completion you may have finished a project and now is the time to rest and reward yourself. In astrology, the 10th house is ruled by Capricorn. And these people work very hard. Um, and this sloth has a playful energy in this card. So you might be called to tap into that playful side of yours um, you know
know, being around children may be very helpful. I think a lot of adults, we have rationalized um, our every action and every thought. And children are very pure. They don't think or overthink things, you know. And sometimes when adults use fear to control children, it kind of doesn't work. It makes the situation worse. So maybe try to take a different stance to things. And you might realize that, oh, that works easier. Okay. And then I have this fairy deck. So what you need to know right now nature signs be receptive to the subtle messages from nature as you go about your day the soft feminine energy. Nature talks to us continually. We need only open our hearts and minds. And there's badges in the picture and she's wearing blue. Um, you know, if you're in a corporate job, in like a nine to five, something like that. Or if you've been doing the same job for a very long time, it's easy to get jaded. It's easy to not find special in the everyday. It's easy to get bored. So this is telling me that perhaps it's time to find something, could be a hobby whether it's new or old, that interests you. Something that you don't do just for the sake of doing or going through the motion. Something that will spark a new idea and give you that fresh energy. You might even want to take a walk with a nature card here. to the lost and found fairy. Sometimes she can help us find things we never even realized to be lost. This to me could be speaking to a hidden talent. Maybe when you were a child, you were very interested in, for example, crystals. And maybe your mom was like, no. Or your dad was like, no, don't, don't dwell into that. And maybe now, you're reconnecting to that very pure side of you. It could also literally mean something's being returned to you, but I see this as more of a symbolic card. Um, Pisces energy. The 12th house represents all hidden talents. So, I think I mentioned this in previous video that you need to look at your 12th house for hidden talents it could be meaning you know finding that innocence again it could be as simple as that it doesn't have to be it doesn't mean you need to master something new you know Guilty. 
this fairy says you have the power to overcome temptation, whatever it's guys. So this to me speaks more to um, unhealthy habits, addictions. Sorry. Interestingly enough, 12th house also rules addictions. So there's something you could be avoiding or escaping. You could be overworking yourself, burnout. Using alcohol, for example, to escape the harsh reality of your life. Could be anything. I'm not a therapist, but you could be being a perfectionist and not seeing the value of your work or your creativity. At the bottom we have go outside. Okay. That's very clear. It's time to go outside. Tune into the power of peace of nature. Wherever you are and feel at one with your habitat. If you have earth in your chart, you may resonate with this, especially if you're Capricorn or Virgo and you work very hard, you know. And sometimes with earth signs, you don't necessarily understand what's not rational, but you don't need to understand something for it to help you sometimes. Um, That's very straightforward, so I'm going to continue with this deck here, which is just words. We'll see what comes up. What you need to know right now. My energy creates my reality. What I focus on is what I will manifest. That's very true. It's a scientific thing. You can look up the double slit experiment. You might want to take time to reflect on your goals at this stage. And take accountability for your actions, looking inward more so than outward. Okay. I'm checking my recording because earlier today when I recorded it, Always trust the direction of the universe and know I'm being guided. I was filming earlier today and I put the dragonfly card in another deck. And dragonflies represent communication, it's air. It is a good, it's considered a positive um, omen, you know, some people say. up the world. Hmm. Don't be afraid to detach yourself from things that no longer serve you, things that are of the past. Don't be afraid to change your, um, not image, but your identity, your Even people that you've known for years, if it's not healthy to be around certain people, you know, then we cannot, we cannot avoid it. It's, there's a fine line between being negative, being um, positive, and then 
being overly positive, if that makes sense. And sometimes we want to see the best in people, but mm, we need to, when we are very aware of our own feelings, then we will understand that we don't need to please everyone. is appropriate or not. Okay. The fox also goes after what it wants without doubt. see in the darkness this animal is ver like very stealthy so both of these animals some people say it's cunning but And he looks like he's smiling still, you know. There's this... Oh! There's this cheeky energy. It's asking you to be strategic. You know, if this is a career thing, by all means. Yes, go after what you want. Go for it. <laughs> and have a broad perspective on things. Hawk is um, air communication. So if you want something, you have to ask for it. It's it's very hard for it to come to you if you're not going to <coughs> verbalize that. People will not know. Hawk understands that it's not just about the details, it's about the bigger picture. If there's competition, you have to fight for it. You know, sometimes there's a place and time for everything. And we don't always have to play nice. Cosmic egg, yes. Some there's a but there's a snake here. So the snake has this. It's almost like you were having your finger wrapped around something, right? Especially this crocodile. Cosmic egg, something precious. Involved. If you are sitting on some um, important information, crocodile is saying 
not to share it. My computer, okay. The same, keep your mouth, <laughs> keep your mouth shut. <laughs> as, um, that sounds rude, anyway. Keep it to yourself. I think you're already doing this. Because with the hawk here, a lot of people will be, will not hesitate to take it. There's something that you have to keep to yourself, a job opportunity or an idea or this competition here. I feel it's an energy of competition. Okay. What you need to hear right now. Mm -mm -mm. What do you need to hear right now? Willpower, yes. Improve your willpower to reduce your stress level. The willpower is there already. And see how this card mirrors this card. Willpower. If you're into um, personal training or health, say not to give up on building your strength, building your health, building your muscles, or Flexibility and all that. Mm -hmm. Open mind. Replace the old cycle with a new and exciting one. Open mind. Okay. One more. You are unique. Be yourself. Everyone else is taken. I feel like you already know what makes you unique. What makes you stand out from other people. I feel strongly this is a career thing. There's some ideas that you haven't considered yet, you haven't thought about yet. This might be a good time to brainstorm and then slow down to relax again this message. Break to enjoy the beauty around you. Someone's working way too hard. Way too fast. Turn over a new page. Let love lead the way for change. <laughs> hmm. Her eyes are closed though. This um, crystal deck, so I'll use it to clarify. I don't really remember all the meanings of crystals, but this deck has the description. Oh my god, <laughs> that was quick. Selenite, one of my favorites. Calm, cool, and collected. 
people who needed our healers, believers, the currently cleansing Jews technology. When you move into a new space and want any lingering bad juju to do the moose, when you pray to the gods of love, when you've been working with crystals and want to clear away energy that is picked up in the process, give them a gentle tap with selenite. Clear your path to enlightenment. <coughs> I feel someone is overthinking something and need or have picked up on bad thoughts or um, bad energy you know there's many ways to clear energy it could be meditation it could be exercise it could be taking a bath be doing something totally different from your usual routine, taking a nap, could be self-care routines like beauty rituals or making yourself a meal, but whatever it is, you kind of need to step away from something, could be technology even. And then I have a new deck. So, what you need to know right now. Never seen the cards in here, so I'm just winging it. I connect with heaven. So, connecting to a place of peace to something higher than you, the spirit realm, your soul purpose or your spirituality or religion, connecting to your intuition, your flow state. Together in the light, gratitude. Hmm. Turning inward rather than outward. That can help prevent a lot of conflicts. It doesn't prevent the other person from reacting, but our own response, our own reaction, we can control. Achievement. Yes, some of you have already achieved something very big. And it's time to rest, it's time to clear your mind, and you might be even considering starting on a blank slate. This is totally clear. You might be considering doing a totally different job, you know, if you've been thinking about that. And this is saying yes. Okay, that's it for my reading. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm going to cough again, so I'll see you. Bye.